Hi everyone, in this video I'll explain how an ion exchange mixed bed tank works. So here at PureTech, we use brown tape around the top neck of the tank to designate it as a mixed bed. A mixed bed is filled with two types of ion exchange resin beads. One is called the cation resin and the other is called anion resin. So as water passes through these resin beads, all positively charged ions will attach themselves to small exchange sites that are within the cation resin bead. And at the same time this happens, the cation resin bead will release a hydrogen ion into the water. So the cation resin bead holds on to all of the dissolved minerals in the water that have a positive charge and will release hydrogen into the water to take its place. And the anion resin beads do the same thing for all negatively charged ions in the water. It will attract and capture all dissolved minerals in the water that have a negative charge and release hydroxyl to take their place. So when you combine hydrogen with hydroxyl, you end up with two H's and one O, which equals H2O. And now you have deionized water with all or most of the dissolved minerals removed. Now eventually, the dissolved minerals in the feed water will occupy all the exchange sites within the resin beads and they will begin to lose the ability to exchange ions and that's when you'll start to see the conductivity values increase as the dissolved minerals in the feed water begin to pass right through the mixed bed tank. When this happens, the mixed bed is replaced with a fresh tank and the exhausted tank is returned to our regeneration facility where the cation and anion resins are processed and regenerated so that they can be used again. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Remember, we're always here to help with any questions you might have. In the comments section below, we placed a link where you can download a copy of our DI Tank User Guide, which has super helpful information to help you understand more about how ion exchange tanks work. Thank you.